Uh, as a nation, we've been underinvesting in encouragement uh, of youngsters coming into our trade, which is engineering and manufacturing, uh, or the wider term of it is, is obviously STEM. Um, and we're trying to readdress that balance. It's vital for our business to have um, plenty of new blood coming through the business at all stages. We spent a lot of time developing our apprenticeship scheme, uh, as well as our upskilling um, uh, capabilities, part of which is behind me here. Um, and now the important bit is attraction. We want young people to come and be interested and perhaps take that first step into an apprenticeship or into an engineering stroke STEM career. I think there's a, a, a bit of a um, myth that STEM is not a great career choice. I can only say I decided to do it and I have a great career really enjoying what I do still today. Um, so the idea is really is to dangle that carrot for STEM in every way, whether it's around pay uh, and reward or whether it's around the sort of level of training, the different types of training you can, you can do. And then obviously some of the stuff we work on, we supply into 10, 12 different sectors and 26 different countries and you can touch on something very different every day. All of the parts we make that people are engaged with, our engineers, are vital to the workings of many everyday things. But publicity about that is low to, to nothing. And, and really this programme is about trying to present STEM engineering manufacturing in a way that's um, really exciting and interesting for youngsters. Yeah, so we've been engaged with Incom for, well, I've been at Brandauer 14 years and all that time we've been working with them, predominantly around apprenticeships. They were our provider uh, and still are of, of all of our apprenticeship um, uh, offerings. Um, more recently, we've partnered with them to upskill engineers to be tool makers. And that's what you've got behind me. And the last piece of the jigsaw puzzle is obviously attraction and promoting STEM. So we see that as absolutely vital, not only for the future of our company, but of the sector as a whole. So I think my encouragement is for other companies, other SMEs and OEMs and, and largers to get involved with this. Um, and uh, in terms of attraction, apprenticeships, degrees, and upskilling. I think when I talk about attracting uh, interest really from young kids I can say it as much as I like but perhaps most importantly is for them to come in and see and feel and touch and, and, and play on some of the things that we do obviously in a safe controlled environment um, so this program allows them to do it and only last week we hosted a cohort of school kids to come in actually see how you make a high-speed progression tool the stages to it touch and feel some of the parts that have been made and talk with our um, uh, senior tool maker here in the business, Mark, um, and hear what it sounds like to have a career in tool making. He's been doing it for 44 years now uh, and he's only too keen to pass on that sort of passion to, to new blood, new people coming in, considering coming into the, um, into the uh, engineering and manufacturing sectors.